Did you know more women than men die from heart disease and that three times as many women die from heart disease than all cancers combined? A local doctor has co-authored a book to teach women about their heart health. It's called The Woman's Heart, An Owner's Guide. And Dr. Terry Colin Glosser is a cardiologist from Riverside Hospital and she is here this morning. Thanks for coming in. Oh, thank you for having me. Absolutely. Well, doctor, why is heart disease still considered a man's disease? Unfortunately, it's because most of the research has been done in men and women and physicians still are really not very aggressive about um, looking for risk factors. Mm -hmm. But more attention is now being focused on women. It is, and that's one of the reasons that we did the book is we really want women to be as proactive for their hearts as they are for breast cancer. Yeah, well, it may take some time for the word to get out, I don't know, uh, because right now female heart uh, symptoms of a heart attack in women are different than men. Women tend not to take it seriously. They put it off as something else. That's true, and because they can be subtle, it can be shortness of breath, it can be symptoms similar to heartburn or discomfort in the shoulder and the back areas or extreme fatigue, and often those will be missed. And how does that differ from men? With men, traditionally, they will present with um, extreme, extreme chest pain where they feel like there's an elephant sitting on their chest or pain down their arms, so much more classic. Yeah, you, you figure it's the same heart, right? Right. The but symptoms women's, should be the same, right? <laughs> women's hearts are different and that's the, the important thing that there, there are differences and they can be subtle but they need to be recognized. Okay, so what are some of the things women should do to prevent having a heart attack? The most important thing is uh, during your annual exam talk about your risk factors blood pressure, cholesterol, diabetes, your weight, your exercise level, and family history. Those are key things to discuss at every office visit. Yeah, and if you don't know, go find out. Yes. I think everybody should pretty much know their cholesterol level. You'd be by surprised. By a certain age, right? I don't know. By the age of 20. So it should start when you're young because yeah. there's a lot of genetic traits that run with some of these risk factors. So the earlier you start, the better. Okay, and now you are also um, studying a new phenomenon that you're seeing maybe in postmenopausal women, uh, something about women and broken hearts. Tell us a little bit about that. The broken heart syndrome, we see this in postmenopausal women, and what it is is a woman is exposed to extreme stress. So it could be the death of somebody unexpectedly, an argument, a natural disaster, abuse, anything that really stresses the woman. It will release stress hormones which can damage the heart, and the woman will present as if they're having a heart attack. The good news is that they can completely recover from it and that, you know, we can take care of. But it's getting to the hospital. We need you to recognize the symptoms and get to that emergency room. Yeah, you gotta take that first step. Well, the book is The Woman's Heart and Dr. Colin Glosser will be signing your book at the Barnes & Noble at the Lenox Town Center on September 23rd at seven o'clock. Fascinating. Thanks, doctor, for coming in. Thank you. Dana?